we're in Flintstone, Georgia, about 20 minutes south of Chattanooga. And um, I grow annual cut flowers to um, sell for weddings and to wholesale for florists and some retail as well. A trip to Morgan Sharp's farm. Creekside Flower Farms allows just about anyone the opportunity to stop, reflect, relax, and admire. Well, for visitors anyway, for Morgan, this is a seven day a week up before the sun way of life. I came to Chattanooga from Nicaragua. So my parents are missionaries and I came here to go to college. And when I graduated college, I had this sense of placelessness of knowing like, where do I belong? I can't really go home anywhere because I wasn't gonna go back to Nicaragua to try and get a job. Um, and so I, I felt this sense of placelessness. Uh, meanwhile, I was reading author and poet Wendell Berry, who is an agrarian writer, and he talks a lot about the land and uh, learning the land and being a placed person. And so my placelessness and reading him, I was like, oh, okay, he's got it. I'm going to do what he does. I chose to do flowers instead of any veg vegetable farming because um, I think we all have this appetite for beauty. Um, I think we all need this natural beauty that surrounds us. So flowers is one of the ways we can get that. Now in her fifth year of business here, Morgan has had a steep learning curve to make this her full-time occupation. I knew nothing about farming or business jumping into this. So it's been a trial and error learning process. Um, of course, I've done a lot of reading and I've asked a lot of questions. Um, I think it's been a great lesson in pride. I'm often just like, oh, well, it died. I guess I'll figure out why now. But between balancing the books, the weeding, and the watering, making deliveries, there are moments in this garden that give her pause and appreciation. Moments that give her excitement. It's always a, um, there's something new that's giving me wonder. So generally, it's the newest thing that's coming into bloom. So these are Icelandic poppies, and they've just started coming into bloom. And I have been babying them for months. I had to sow three different successions of them to get them to show up in my field. Now seeing them, it's like, oh, sweet relief. Um, but then outside of the field, it's whenever you give people flowers. It's a mood elevator. Um, everybody is automatically going to smile at you and just show excitement and a deep sense of gratitude um, when you give them beauty like that. So those are nurturing moments for sure. With the help of Wendell Berry's work and Morgan's ability to see the world as something bigger than herself, she's found what she has been searching for uh, for so many years and it's something she hopes others will find as well. There's power in place. I think that we have lost that um, because we move constantly. Um, whether that's just in our daily lives or whether that's like across the nation, um, I think we're always moving and so we've, we've missed out on this connection with land. Um, and I think it's a really beautiful, healthy, wholesome connection that we need. Um, and I, wow, my voice just got shaky. Um, I, I think I have gained so much from connecting with this land. Um, and it's not the, that's the stuff that you can put words to and it's not the stuff that you get dollar signs from. It's just a deep um, sense of being and gratitude that I've gained from being connected to this land. What a talented and interesting young woman. Uh, we had more fun hanging out with yeah. her. She's beautiful story, just a, a beautiful narration. Sure. And, and again, she does beautiful uh, flowers for weddings. Um, so I'm going to post her stuff on our Facebook page. We'll have it later online as well. So if you're looking for uh, flowers for your wedding, she'd love to do it. So. Yeah, hopefully a lot of people go check her yeah. out. She's super talented. Yeah. That is for sure.